Lambert Wicks was a captain in the Continental Navy during the American Revolutionary War. Revolutionary Activities Wicks was born sometime in 1735 in Kent County, Maryland. His home was on Eastern Neck Island, in the family home, Wycliffe. Prior to the American Revolution, Wicks was captain of the merchant ships The Neptune and the Ceres. On March 28, 1776 the Continental Congress allowed the purchase of the 16-gun brig which would be renamed the Reprisal. In May of the same year, Wicks was the Reprisal's captain and he was ordered to sail into battle against the British frigate Roebuck which was opening the Delaware River to British ships. Wicks would later be designated as number 11 on the Continental Navy's seniority list. The Committee of Secret Correspondence of Congress by arrangement with the Marine Committee issued orders for Captain Wicks to proceed to the West Indies in reprisal and bring out munitions for use by General Washington's army. In addition, Wicks was to transport William Bingham to his post the French possession of Martinique as agent for the American colonies. Reprisal passed down the Delaware River from Philadelphia during the latter part of June 1776. While en route, Reprisal went to the aid of the harried Continental six-gun brig Nancy, bound from St. Croix and St. Thomas with 386 barrels of gunpowder, which was being chased by six British men of war. In order to save Nancy, her captain, Hugh Montgomery, ran her aground. Reprisal and Lexington, the latter under the command of Captain John Barry, kept boats from HMS Kingfisher at bay and succeeded in landing some 200 barrels of the precious powder. In this engagement, Wicker's brother Richard was killed while serving as third lieutenant in reprisal. This engagement became known as the Battle of Turtle Gut Inlet. Clearing the Delaware Capes on July 3, reprisal, under Wicker's sterling seamanship, captured a number of prizes in the West Indies and had a sharp engagement with HMS Shark, beating her off and escaping into port. On October 24, 1776, Wicks was ordered to France with Benjamin Franklin as passenger. During the voyage, Reprisal captured two brigs and reached Nantes on November 29 where the ship's important passenger disembarked. Setting sail in January 1777, Wicks took Reprisal to sea on a cruise which took her to the Bay of Biscay in the mouth of the English Channel. On February 5, his ship captured the armed packet boat Swallow, carrying mail between Britain and its ally Portugal. After a hard action of 40 minutes duration, during the battle, Reprisal suffered two officers seriously wounded and one man killed. During the remainder of this foray against British shipping, Wicks took five additional prizes and left them at Port Louis. Wicks moved reprisal to Lorion, but was ordered to leave the port in 24 hours by the French government. The port authorities apparently stirred to action by bitter remonstrances from the British government. Wicks, however, claimed that reprisal had sprung a leak and needed to be careened for hull repairs. Wicks proved to be skillful at gaining time, as, on several occasions, he thwarted the intentions of the French government to have him sail. In April 1777, the continental vessels Lexington and Dolphin joined reprisal and constituted a squadron under Wicker's command. Setting sail from St. Ozo on May 28, the ships cruised around Ireland in June, July, and August, during one phase of the voyage. The three ships captured 15 ships in five days. On September 14, Wicks left France in reprisal, in company with Dolphin, bound for home. Around October 1, reprisal founded off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, with the loss of all hands except the cook. Legacy Lewis H. Bolander, the assistant librarian at the Naval Academy, wrote an article on Wicks in 1928 and titled The Forgotten Hero of the American Revolution, appearing in Americana. In April 1928, the article closed with a fitting epitaph for Captain Lambert Wicks, thus closed a career distinguished for patriotism, gallantry and humanity. 
for not a single charge of cruelty or harshness was ever breathed against him by any one of his many prisoners. Franklin, who knew him well, said of him, he was a gallant officer, and a very worthy man. Two ships in the United States Navy have been named in his honor. The two iron balls on each side of a magnetic compass, used to balance out and counteract magnetic variations based on a ship's location, are traditionally called Lambert's, in his honor.